Brain Rot Art has taken over the art community on TikTok with a sudden rise in artists consuming brain numbing content and somehow turning it into drawings that for some reason make a hint of sense, well at least to the audience that seem to be enjoying this type of art and are intrigued by it. Brain Rot Art has somehow managed to finally become an art style making artists go viral over and over again and solidifying its place as an essential commodity in the art community on the internet. But before we torture ourselves glossing over the work of some shockingly talented talented brain rot artists, what exactly is brain rot and how did it become an art style? For us to understand brain rot art, we have to first separate the art from brain rot. According to Google's new AI overview feature that no one asked for but yet is somehow proven to be useful, brain rot is a colloquial term that describes the negative psychological and cognitive effects of consuming low quality or meaningless internet content. While this may be a rather vague and convoluted definition of what brain rot is, several users on Reddit also try to explain the true meaning of brain rot for us regular simple minded humans human beings. An article on Very Well Minded explained brain rot as the effects being chronically online has on our mental health. While all these definitions try to explain what brain rot is but all somehow fall flat of my expectations, let's go straight to the source of it all and seek for answers. Brain rot explained. It's now a trend to say the phrase brain rot. The term brain rot refers to a bunch of internet culture terms. Things like Skibbity Toilet, Ohio and Riz. These extremely common internet terms have prompted the spam comment brain rot. Now let's take a look at a clip that may be considered brain rot for some users. No diss to the creator, but this refers to a bunch of internet terms. Now a bunch of these internet terms have been commonly labeled as brain rot content because a lot of these terms could be added together into combos of sorts. So a lot of TikTok videos have been saying Skibbity Toilet Ohio. They're also primarily labeled as YouTube Shorts content as users believe a lot more of these brain rot subjects are on YouTube Shorts and also the fact that Skibbity Toilet is on YouTube. People are also worried about Gen Alpha for example because they love a lot of these brain rot terms and love Skibbity Toilet. But yeah, now a lot of these terms are primarily in the vocabulary of TikTok. Some find it funny and others just find it annoying. What do you guys think? Words like Riz, Skibbity Toilet, Edging and Baby Gronk exploded in popularity after videos of each of these memes started trending on TikTok and YouTube Shorts. Children going to school all started speaking in these forum terms, questioning their friends group trying to find who the true Sigma is among their peers and who were the betas. Parents, millennials and other adults like myself all started using these words to try to appeal to their chronically online Gen Z and Gen Alpha counterparts, forcing themselves to use words like Mewin, Ohio and Phantom Tax to form incomprehensible sentences that could only be understood by people who were up to date with 2023 slash 2024 memes and the rest of internet culture. Okay mom, see you after school. Bye Betty, I hope you have a skibbity Ohio day. Where did you learn that from? Oh, it doesn't matter. Just go slay the day, my little Sigma. You better not say another word or I will die of cringe. Okay. Mom, stop. You're going to embarrass me. Fine, I'll just go off to school now. Okay, make sure to riz up all those girls in your classes, buddy. Mom, you need to stop this instant. Buddy, you better get to school before your sussy among us comes out. Eyes of cringe. And I'm tax. Brain rot and internet memes are not new to social media and have been around since the early stages of internet culture. Each generation has had their own versions of memes and trends that most of the time were not referred to as brain rot but looking at it now, you can clearly tell we definitely needed to have our brains examined because why were we finding shit like this funny? In present times, brain rot memes burst into popularity fast and are also almost quickly forgotten after several months due to their short lifespan in the current fast-paced states of the internet. Memes spring up out of nowhere and are immediately awarded millions and millions of views, forcing the rather nonchalant normal people who started them casually into the bright, bright spotlight of internet fame and popularity, with some of them turning into social media celebrities literally overnight after saying words I never thought I will find myself saying on my YouTube channel dedicated to commentary within the art community. Hawk. Do you ever got hot to and how did it feel? Like you gotta really put your back into it. 
As much as it hurt my brain saying that, I can only imagine how you feel after watching those mildly infuriating videos I shoved into your face through your mobile device screens. With a seemingly massive audience consuming brain rot content and how easy it is for brain rot videos to go viral, TikTok creators and YouTubers have found ways to create content around several brain rot memes which always go viral on social media, racking up millions of views and a truckload of comments filled with average enjoyers of brain rot content engaging with each other in their dystopian dialect. Movie scenes with the dialogue replaced with arguably epic brain rot started trending and going viral on TikTok and some TikTok users started using brain rot to replace classic movie scenes which still somehow ended up making sense. Brain rot quiz videos started getting popular on TikTok with popular cartoon characters used as hosts who asked the viewer fill in the blank space questions about brain rot terms and phrases. And I can't even lie, these videos were usually pretty entertaining especially to the young addicted audience who rushed to the comment section to ask the chat if they were cooks after getting all the answers correct. And for the most part, I happened to get most of the answers correct. I am definitely cooked. From the gat to the sus to the riz to the mew, <laughs> yeah, I'm edging in Ohio fandom taxing as I blink. If you said goon, that is correct. Brain Rock Quiz, send this to someone to remind them that a new episode of Talk Tua is dropping in four days on October 15th. Question two, what's the name of that guy with a lot of aura and riz? He's a streamer and he always tries to look cool while he's doing stuff. He also keeps stealing my dang videos. If you said Duke Dennis, that is correct. Question 3. Which TikToker created the Let Him Cook meme and continues to drag it to this day? If you said Vexbolts, that is correct. Question 4. What's it called when a streamer does some out-of-pocket activity so that they get clipped on TikTok? If you said clip farming, that is correct. Finally, question 5. Who are the founding three fathers of Lunchly? If you said Logan Paul, KSI, and Mr. Beast, that is correct. Let me know what you got down below. Other creators started making videos about brain rot or mimicking brain rot memes the audience happened to find funny. And while some of the videos were insanely cringe to the point where you practically couldn't think for 12 seconds after watching them, each of these videos all went viral. Like seriously, tell me why exactly this video has millions of views. Hey chat, thanks for agreeing to go on a date with me. Uh... What's that smell? You smell like Skibbity Toilet! How did you know Skibbity Toilet was my favorite shell? <laughs> well, what did I do today? Well, it's so funny you ask. I just finished using my rose toy to jelk. Wait, what do I mean jelk? I can't jelk. I meant goon. <laughs> I love gooning. Hey, what do you say? You want to go edging later? What? You want to go munting? Okay, buddy. That's kind of freaky. <laughs> anyway, well, goo, I can see Phantom did not tax bros lengths because you got a Drake snake. Well, what do you think about going to get some Grimace shakes later? I love me a little Grimace shake. No. Ugh, what the freak? Get out of my freaking car. You are not Sigma. You're just a beta. This car only belongs to alphas. Now shut up and get out my battle bus. Arr! Wait, no, I was kidding. Come back. I have thunder thighs and a slutty waist. As unfortunate as it is that I can't get the seconds I spent watching that video back, I'm glad I'm not the only one who has wasted their precious time watching that slop inducing brain torture of a video. Brain rot videos have sadly become the new standard for internet virality and thousands of creators on social media have one way or the other found themselves making brain rot content and experiencing growth on their platforms as a result of it. This growth was not only exclusive to creators making skits and TikTok videos, some artists decided to try their hands at making brain rot art and immediately found this style of content appealing to the massive audience who were already addicted to brain rot content and somehow happened to know all the memes and brain rot phrases word for word. Brain rot art and meme drawings are mostly drawings of characters from the popular memes from viral internet culture. Drawings of Skibidi Toilet, Mewin and Sigma all make appearances in viral brain rot art and are all very popular within the brain rot art 
audience for some reason. Other forms of brain rot art are drawings of TikTokers and creators who make brain rot content or post videos of memes that go viral and reach the same audience that happen to consume brain rot content. Creators like Sato Yu, Chef Rush, Sam Sulek and other popular viral TikTokers all feature from time to time in brain rot art mashups and not surprisingly at all, these drawing videos rack up millions of views and are usually well appreciated by their fans and people who enjoy them their content. The brain rot art style, well, that is if we can even call it an art style, usually emphasizes on exaggerating the features of the characters, making the memes funnier and drawing them as if they have a TikTok filter in the drawing. From big squared up chins to box shaped heads, literally every single meme related filter on TikTok can be transferred into the drawings, making them 10 times as funny as the original meme itself. Different artists on TikTok and other social media platforms each have their own separate ways of drawing brain rot art and while I find most of them uniquely fascinating, they all similarly have the same way of landing to the punchline of the jokes in their videos. It appears there seems to be a particular style or structure with how the memes and jokes are presented in the videos which make them equally as funny or engaging as the memes that were made by the actual creators. Brain rot artists started to rub off on me the right way and I personally have a few of my favorites which I like to look at from time to time to get a laugh or two. Aside from their videos being pretty funny, the drawings also look good to complete the package. Starting with our first artist, Emil Hunswick. I hope I said that name correct. Emil started off drawing portraits from pictures of movie characters like most of us all started out, copying pictures and drawing from reference trying to figure out what we were doing and wondering if we could ever become anything with this skill we somehow found ourselves capable of. I'm sure that's pretty much the backstory of every artist, myself included. Emil then moved on to drawing fan art of anime characters and slowly started progressing to trying out color in their drawings. Their drawings were not bad in any way and we're pretty decent if you ask me. There was a good amount of progress as you scrolled through their work and you could see they were keen on making better art and were doing everything they could to improve along the way. One of their first brain rot art videos which blew up was when they drew Nick from Zootopia as a Giga Chad. The video got almost 400,000 views and 35,000 comments and a lot of people found the style of art pretty funny and entertaining. Someone even said, dude, I looked for a video of yours with the least amount of comments so you can see this for sure. This series is amazing, 11 over 10. Please do it more often and never stop. And if that wasn't a go ahead for sure, then I don't know what else is. Emil took this as a sign that brain rot art was definitely here to stay and seemed to be a great way for them to grow their TikTok account and reach a wider audience in the process. They posted their next brain rot video, which was of Alfredo from Ratatouille, getting a glow up after following a couple of Mike Mensa high intensity workouts which are some of my favorites. responded to it with a lot of good comments and were asking why Emil's account was small with a few followers when they were making drawings as good as this. Someone even said the drawing changed their life which is definitely not something I was expecting to happen from a brain rot video. At least in a good way because after watching any brain rot video on the internet or TikTok, my life definitely changes for worse. They posted a follow up video to continue the story since a lot of people wanted to see what will happen next and were curious and begging for a meal to draw Colette's transformation so they posted that and the video got almost 7 million views and counting.
were growing strong and kept attracting that specific audience to Emil's TikTok account. The comments were all praising Emil's drawings, saying they looked really good and were asking how he was able to make his drawings look so HD with better resolution than a mobile phone camera. Which was clearly because of how Emil was shading the drawings using light and shadow to create perfect renders of the characters. One thing I noticed was with each of the brain rot drawings Emil posted, his drawing and shading kept on improving as well. The shading got better, the anatomy and little details also improved so much in the process. The videos became a way for him to practice drawing and improve his art while still having fun and growing an audience who was enjoying everything he was posting. People started suggesting other characters for him to draw and asking him to draw other memes that were trending at that time as well. Other people who noticed his drawings were getting better and better started asking for drawing tutorials so they too could improve and start making progress with their art. Or at least make an attempt trying their hands at brain rot drawings. Emil continued to make videos and started including drawings of other YouTubers in his videos using clips of them talking and drawing out the scenes in the context of his videos. YouTubers like Vsauce, Anatoly, KSI and Satu Yu have all made appearances in his videos where he portrays them as superheroes or makes memes about them based off of their content. He even made a video about Nico Cardo's recent weight loss and instead of him being two steps ahead, he pushed the meme further making it three steps ahead. still makes meme videos and brain rot art and his art has really really improved along the line which apparently is all thanks to brain rot content for some reason I guess. Sam Barkin who goes by art by Amuel on TikTok is probably my most favorite brain rot and meme artist out of all of them. With almost 900,000 followers on his TikTok account and a whopping 68 million likes across his videos, Sam is obviously killing the brain rot trend with his drawings and racking up millions and millions of views across his videos. Sam has literally made a drawing for almost every single meme that has popped up on my For You page and all of his videos are mostly funny for the most part. Although his art style is not as detailed as Emil's, it's still very good and has impressive shading as well. He tends to simplify most parts of his drawings using shapes to show the figure and translate scenes that don't require as much details like close-ups and faces. Scrolling through his TikTok videos, it will seem the meme he draws mostly in his videos is the Mewin and Giga Chad face where the characters have big ironclad jaws after having a glow up of some sort. Each of these videos all have millions of views and thousands of comments with people either laughing and commending his drawings or just asking if Mewin even works at all. I think Sam really captured the brain rot aesthetic with his art and out of most of the artists drawing memes and brain rot on TikTok, Sam's videos are the most exaggerated and brain rotted if that's even a word. Countless other artists have tried their hands at drawing brain rot memes in their videos and their accounts are fairly small in comparison to the number of views the brain rot art videos always end up getting. Most of the brain rot art videos seem to all be structured the same way as the videos from popular brain rot artists who had previously gone viral and all end with the same punchline or joke for the most part. Some of the artists even tried drawing with the same art style or something similar because hey, if it works Works, why change it? Am I right? Leo, another artist on TikTok, claimed he started the brain rot art trend in 2022 before every other artist decided to hop on the trend and start drawing brain rot memes and transforming characters to muscular versions of themselves. While Leo's claims were backed up by his comment section for the most part, I think it's safe to say everyone else is pretty much thankful to him for starting the trend and helping other artists go viral drawing similar videos like his. Some artists started copying his popular videos and tried recreating them putting their own little spin on it while still keeping the essence of the jokes in the videos. Others took the themes and switched them around making them darker or changing the ending to suit their own twisted versions of the memes.
Arts Unknown, who's also one of my favorite Brain Rot artists because, well, he drew the famous Drake Anita Max Wynn trend and he also traumatized me by drawing Drake shoving his third leg in the face of another person. art and meme trends have slowly become an integral part of the internet art community and most artists have realized drawing memes like these really helps their accounts go viral and reach a wider audience so the potential of them going viral increases tremendously when they draw any one of these popular internet brain rot memes and since brain rot memes and words keep coming out every other month TikTok artists and other people drawing the memes will definitely have their hands full trying to keep up with all the trends. I personally don't see anything wrong with drawing brain rot art especially since most of the memes are just funny or cringe and are not inappropriate for the most part. So for people who find them funny and are interested in drawing memes like that, go for it. Have fun knocking yourself out. And if that's not your thing, that's fine as well. You don't have to conform to drawing what everyone else is drawing just because you're trying to grow your social media account. Well, it looks like you made it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like, share it with a brain rotted friend and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. With all that being said, I'll see all you pretty penguins in the next video. Bye.